Stage 2. This is where the game really starts off at. On our way to the castle with the tight music, baby. Oh, yeah. When you hear this, you get pumped up. I don't care where you at. If you at the grocery mart, when this comes on, you better bring out a whip and start whipping everybody in line and get in front. So you could be just like this dude. We got these gay crows following me, and they might get me. I'm trying my best to stay away. Come on, yes. Just keep it moving, baby. Bring that bridge down. Your boy is going inside the castle. So we got some zombies up in here with some tall tees on. You know they were in music videos with those shirts. <laughs> Lean with it, rock with it. Eyeball man. He's weak. He takes two hits, if I remember. But I'm trying to avoid him at all costs. Oh crap, we got two eyeball mans. And I dropped my knife. Holy water is cool, but I really prefer the knife in this game. Oh yeah! Oh my gosh! Uh oh, who is this? Oh no, we're out of here. And if you guys don't believe me, he has no legs. You'll see if I can get to the uh, part. I need to find this key though. There's supposed to be a key over here. Hopefully, I did not miss it. Oh no, I picked it up. Great. Alright, he's about to bust through here. And I'm going to show you this. It's creepy. Check this out. I'm gonna try to not get killed. Look at that. Look at that. See it? No legs. What? I, how did I get hit by that bat? I didn't see it. Anyway. So I got this key. And I'm going to show you what this does. This will help me uh, unlock another character right up in this door. We're gonna have to kill this Satanist evil guy. He's dead. Now we save her. No, I cannot skip this. This is gay. Anyway, that is Maria. If you guys have ever played uh, Symphony of the Night, <coughs> Castlevania Symphony of the Night for the Saturn or PS1 for the Xbox. Yeah, it's on Xbox too. That's her. Except when she's this is her when she's younger. Oh my gosh! If any of my friends were to walk in on me while I was playing this, they would automatically assume I'm gay because of this cutscene. Please be over. Nice. And I guess there was a kitchen in there because we left her in there. Alright, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Now, back to the game. No more gay cutscenes, and I got hit on my shoulder. Not cool. I need to get in this door before I die, so my checkpoint would be in here. Great. Battle music, baby. Turn it on. This song right here will give you nightmares. And I will die at this next boss because I only need one hit. What can I do? And all you Twilight fans will love me dying on this part. You see that dude in the back? Werewolf cuz. Come up here. 
so I can serve you when I come back alive again. There's no way I'm beating him. Destructo Disc. Okay, I see you, Krillin. I see you. Anyway, battle music. This is that war music, man. I get dressed for work and school to this song every day. <laughs> so weak. Alright, now I should be able to kill this dude. Let's go. Yeah, that holy water Fs him up. That. It's so random where he's gonna land at. Wow. Really? I got this. I got this. I'm good. I'm good. No. I might have to give him something to drink. Here. There you go. Holy water, baby. Oh, two hit combo. Yeah, he's mad. You saw him stuttering on the wall. That's it. Why did. Come on, for real? They give him a move to do when he dies? Yeah, you're dead. Get out of here, man. Yo, his uh, whip does have a little ball at the end of it. I never noticed that. I thought that cutscene was just stupid in the beginning. I never noticed that. I think in Symphony of the Night, he doesn't have that. I'm going to have to take a look at it again.